Keep Louisiana Beautiful is a statewide organization, and at the core, our mission is to change people's behavior so that we promote personal, corporate, and community um, responsibility for a clean and green Louisiana. Keep Louisiana Beautiful has partnered with the First Lady Donna Edwards and DEQ Secretary Dr. Chuck Carr Brown and the Department of DEQ to create the state's anti-litter uh, slogan. And so what we were trying to accomplish is, you know, often we hear that we need a consistent message for the state to heighten awareness and to bring attention to the problem that we're facing. We wanted something catchy and something that we would be able to um, really get out you know, into every pocket of the state, something that we could be proud of. Texas has don't wet mess with Texas, and if they could have something great like that, so can we. So that was our goal. I'm gonna to introduce to you the first lady. I first met her back in the spring. Um, I uh, showed up at the governor's mansion with my dog and pony show for what I'm sure was supposed to be a 15 minute meeting, turned into about an hour. And we sat side by side on the sofa, just really chatting and sharing our passion for Louisiana, but for a cleaner and greener Louisiana. She shared with me her desire to get recycling back to the governor's mansion, and not just in the governor's mansion, but in every state department. I shared with her some of the, our goals and objectives, and we learned that we had a lot in common. I found her very sincere in her wish to make things better, not just for this organization, but for all the citizens in Louisiana. About two weeks after that meeting, I was so happy to read in the paper that she was successful in bringing recycling back to the governor's mansion. So good work. <laughs> I knew we had a friend and a true ambassador within the uh, First Lady, so I would, I would like to introduce to you First Lady Donna Edwards. It is both an honor and a privilege to stand before such hardworking, committed, and compassionate group of people who are dedicated to making our communities, our cities, and our state a better place and better than they found it. That's what's so important. Like any successful social effort, it starts at home, and it starts with you, and it starts with me. By you, I mean the business leaders, the community leaders, school teachers, and all volunteers making a difference one community at a time. You are individuals who are very busy and have plenty of responsibilities already, and yet you have made this an important issue and for the betterment of our state, and I thank you for that. Like all of you, John Bell and I know the importance of making our communities and state the best it can be. As young parents, we've spent time on Saturdays strolling with our youngest at the time and Amy picking up litter because we knew it was important to um, promote that in our community and encouraging others to do the same. As a teacher, I work with our art council in Amy. Um, the Garden Club in Meet and, and promoted the Cleanest City Poster Contest in my school and um, promoted the Litter Free Community. So we know how important it is in your own community and to start there. So I'm excited now as Governor and First Lady to have partnered with Republic uh, Waste and Recycling in the Mansion and asking those that work in the Capitol to help us in recycling and reminding them that 74% of a lot of, of trash is office paper. So we've um, also partnered with Keep Louisiana Beautiful by picking up trash around the Capitol Lake. I remember when she called me and said, you know, would you come do a photo op? And, and I said, we don't need a photo op. We can come right here to the Capitol Lake as we walked around the Capitol Lake. And so then the Capitol staff joined us. So it was a great, um, a great morning we had on that Friday. And this is just a reminder that the change starts with us and by leading by example. And that's so very important. And because of your dedication, I stand before you today encouraged that we can reach our goal and make progress toward a better and cleaner tomorrow for our children and for a beautiful Louisiana. It takes each of us working together to make a difference. A quote from St. Mother Teresa says, I alone can't change the world, but I can cast a stone along the waters to create more ripples, many ripples. 
It is that ripple that will continue and that is why it is so important that we lead by example. So today, we gather to move forward and bring attention to this great organization and we celebrate our new campaign and slogan to keep Louisiana beautiful. Thank you all so very much for allowing me to be a part of this day and this exciting opportunity um, to spread the message across our state. Thank you so much. And she doesn't just uh, talk the talk, but she walks the walk. And when she said they came out for Leaders Against Litter, they came out in a big way. And she uh, tagged along, brought the governor with her, and we were just thrilled to have not just the First Lady and the governor of Louisiana, which let me say is the first time that we have had the governor and the First Lady attend our Leaders Against Litter event. So we are thrilled to have the support of this administration. But they also brought about 30 staff members. And long when the cameras were gone, it's true, they stayed. And they must have picked up at least 70 bags of trash along the Capitol Lake. So they rolled up their sleeves and they got their hands dirty for Keep Louisiana Beautiful. Thank you. I now would like to introduce to you Secretary uh, Dr. Chuck Carr Brown with DEQ. He is uh, a huge friend and supporter of ours. Um, but actually, DEQ has been a supporter of KLB for a long time now. Their work uh, and their support continues year round. They have been so nice to give us the use of this beautiful site for our convention. Um, and thank you for the use of it. It's been wonderful. We are glad to be here. <laughs> And on our advisory board, we also have Jean Kelly, who is in the Public Information Department, and she has been working so hard with us this past year. So we thank you for the loaning us some of your employees. And not only that, but this last year, Keep Louisiana Beautiful has been working with DEQ's Criminal Investigative Department, and Mike Daniels and Jeff Nolan, who I believe are here today, um, in the back there waving. Uh, they have traveled the state with us and we've conducted environmental enforcement trainings. So again, it's not just a bunch of talk, they're walking the walk. Thank you. So I first met the secretary at, actually at our Leaders Against Litter reception at the Lieutenant Governor's uh, apartment after the press conference. And it was the first time I met him and he was new into his uh, post, so I'm sure his plate was stacked full with things to do. But he reached out and he said that he really wanted to work uh, on a deeper level with Keep Louisiana Beautiful. And, and I felt that he really meant that. And not only that, but he took it a, one step further and he said, let's get these bumper stickers out and let's get a slogan going. And that was really, he planted the seed for what we are about to uh, reveal today. So thank you for that idea and that support. And now join me in welcoming Secretary Brown. Yeah, it's still morning, good morning. I hope you are enjoying our building because we'd like to take every opportunity we can to expose uh, organizations and the general public to what we have here uh, at, at, at Louisiana DEQ. Keep Louisiana Beautiful has always been something near and dear to me. Uh, I, I used to jog around my old neighborhood and if I had a nickel for every piece of paper that I picked up, I wouldn't be working now, I'd, I'd be retired. <laughs> and, and so I started thinking about how can I get involved. So eight years ago when I was Assistant Secretary, I actually uh, had a relationship with the executive director then, I told Susan, uh, and I actually went around to every conference that they had and presented the awards for all of the projects for the, that the cities and municipalities brought forth. So we, we started um, a, a litter hotline. We had it here at LDQ. That litter hotline now is at the uh, Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, and I'm going to give you the number there because for some reason, I see progress being made, of course, but for some reason, people think that cigarette butts just disintegrate. They just, you know, you throw them out, and all of a sudden, they, 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 they're gone. They just disintegrate. You know, so I look at, at litter and, and, and as a learned behavior. Litter, uh, I guess, what we say, um, knowledge or just being aware, it's a learned behavior. You know, I, I often wonder what makes a person throw out, you know, you're driving down the street, you're eating your, your Happy Meal, you finish, 
and you decide you want to ball it up and throw it out the window. I, I just can't imagine what kind of mindset that that, puts a, that, a per, that, that person has. So I, I started thinking that you know, we, so it is a learned behavior not to litter. My daughter, she's 21 now, has never been in a car without a seat belt. Never, you know, they come home in their, in their child, child seats and then they never get in the car without buckling up. So it starts at, 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 at the elementary levels. Uh, we, you know, they, we need to have a campaign that we actually tell the kids to remind the adults not, not to live. I mean, so it's all, it's all that kind of a process. So when, when Susan mentioned a bumper sticker, well, we have a, a, a slogan here that we use at LDEQ. Uh, we call it a clean state of mind, okay? So she said, boy, that's pretty neat, you know? So then this concept of how can we put something out to some of the advertising agencies and see if they can bring something back to us. And to our surprise, uh, I think six or seven of them responded with, with 12 or 13 different uh, uh, titles and, and, and slogans. And it's gonna be great today when you see what we, what we unveil. So again, I just want to thank you for all the things that you do uh, as uh, litter advocates. Again, we do have some parishes, I know you've already talked about this, where we have uh, litter courts, uh, where the justice of the peace, and they, they actually uh, issue out those fines. And then if it gets really, really, really bad, those guys in the back back there that work for us, uh, our criminal investigation division, they carry guns and badges, and if we have to, we can go that route. So again, thank you for what you do, and uh, I look forward to unveiling this, this uh, winning slogan. Thank you. I will say there was some great um, participants and, and the slogans were really hard to choose. There were so many wonderful um, ideas and slogans. So do I go ahead and say it? Yeah. Okay. So it gives me great pleasure to announce Octagon Media's design as the winner for this year's slogan and Miranda White, president of Octagon Media, with the creation of the motto, love the boot, don't pollute. <laughs> This slogan has been made into 12,000 bumper stickers that will be placed on every state vehicle in Louisiana. And in a moment, we're gonna ask you to join us in stepping outside as the secretary and first lady have the honors of placing the first sticker on a state vehicle. But in addition to that, we have distributed to all of our affiliates car litter bags with the slogan and bumper stickers. That's in those envelopes that I made y'all promise y'all wouldn't open till after Thursday. That's what's in there. In addition to that, we're working with the Lieutenant Governor's Office and we are going to have these banners in every welcome, state, uh, welcome center as well as state park in the state. But we're also going to create a digital uh, campaign and this is going to be the focus of Keep Louisiana Beautiful's campaign this year. Our goal is to get this message to every corner of the state and that we are all communicating using the same message because as we know frequency and consistency that's what will make our message stick and will ultimately heighten people's awareness to the litter problem in Louisiana. So we invite all of you to please adopt this slogan. We will provide digital toolkits to nonprofits, to our affiliates, to municipalities, and to companies who are interested in incorporating it into their print materials, their websites, and any other way that they can think of. a new slogan that we're putting on all the, um, the state uh, vehicles called Love the Boot, Don't Pollute. So we're really excited about that, um, that uncovering today. Why is this important? Well, it's important because we need to teach um, not only our children, but our, our parents and, and those around us that it's very important to keep our communities and our cities 
clean and, and pick up behind ourselves and teach them what litter is about and, and, and by removing litter from our communities and put them in the trash can. What do you think of the uh, slogan? Oh, I think it's fabulous. I think it's, they did a great job. Octagon Media did it and they did a wonderful job. It's an ongoing battle, but it's one that we are really proud of, that we are seeing some, some really significant strides. Um, as far as affiliates, we are seeing a lot of uh, growth in communities that really weren't interested in concentrating on litter and blight and pollution and beautification. They are now coming up and are um, interested in joining with Keep America Beautiful and Keep Louisiana Beautiful to establishing some really organized programs and initiatives to, because they recognize that litter is not a good thing for their community. The economic you know, impact that it has is huge. It is a direct reflection of how people see that community. So if they're interested in bringing in new businesses or for their existing businesses to grow and expand, the way their community looks means a lot. It, it's, it's a problem nationwide. Uh, I do see some, some, some strides in what's going on here uh, in Louisiana. You know, I often ask myself the question, you know, you got a, a, a person that's riding along in their car and they're, they're eating their lunch and, and all of a sudden they finish eating their lunch and they just crumble up the paper and throw it out the window. You, you wonder what kind of mentality is that? Um, and so it's a learned behavior not to do or not to undertake such acts. You know, uh, I, I often talk about my daughter being uh, 21 years old now, but has never gotten into a vehicle without a seatbelt. So it's learned behavior. I think one of the focuses is we definitely need to start early with, with instilling a, a, a proudness or an anti-litter mentality into our kids. And, and so I don't think Louisiana has a problem that's any different than anywhere in the country. I just think that it's now for, time for us to step up our efforts. Louisiana has an extraordinarily proactive approach to dealing with litter. Um, all of our states deal with things in a little bit different manner, but Louisiana has consistently been one of our fastest growing uh, states in number of affiliates and in the variety of activities and the work that they do that's very uh, innovative uh, from their uh, litter courts programs and officer training initiatives to their state meetings that always have a very high High attendance in sharing information about about litter and how it connects to blight and uh, economic development in the state. Why is uh, litter abatement so important? Litter is a solvable problem for us, um, and yet it has huge economic impacts. Uh, Keep America Beautiful conservatively showed that there's an $11.5 billion problem. There's a lot of things that we could do in America with 11.5 five billion dollars instead of picking up litter. Um, and it also has a negative impact on our wildlife. Uh, it impacts um, health of individuals and it, and it makes us as individuals um, not feel as strongly about the sense of place, the community where we are. We want to live in clean and beautiful locations. So the litter needs to be uh, removed. And more than that, we need to make sure that the littering behavior is something that's just simply not acceptable. If people have questions like more information about Keep Louisiana Beautiful, what should they do? They can go to our website at keeplouisianabeautiful.org.